time to make another trip to do some towing with the 7.3. Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Lot Proud. We are on our way to go truck hunting once again. We are on our route currently to go to the fuel station, get fueled up with a bunch of diesel so we don't have to make so many stops. And then we're gonna be heading over to my parents' property. Gotta pick up my trailer I left over there. And then we have to go pick up my brother-in-law, Daniel. We're gonna go look at a truck. It's actually one of you guys that watches the videos. I didn't realize it when I messaged you, but he's like, hey man, watch the video. So we're gonna go check out this guy's truck. He's not dead set on this truck, so he might not buy it, but he saw it and he's like, hey, I like the idea of it. I like the price of it. Let's go give it a look. I'll bring some money. If I decide that's the one, we'll go for it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go check out this truck. First gen Dodge diesel, two wheel drive. No rust anywhere on it, but it does need paint and reassembled afterwards. Daniel's never owned a diesel. He has owned a truck though, just not a diesel. So this is gonna be a new thing to him. I think he's gonna like it. Once you go diesel, you never go back. Unless going diesel costs you too much money and you can't afford to keep going diesel, then, some, then sometimes you go back. But most of the time you try not to. We got the trailer all hooked up. Ready to go. Shouldn't be any kind of a problem for the truck we would be hauling. It was a success. We did pick up the truck. We're gonna get out of the way at the gas station here though. That way somebody else can fuel up. Here's the truck right behind me, a Dodge D250 diesel. Super clean truck, needs some paint and some other minor things, some little TLC, but otherwise it's a great, solid, clean old truck. Rosine 24V. Ooh. It was 35 degrees last night. A little chilly. A little smoky. So here is the 1993 Dodge D250. Some of you are recognizing the truck from the picture on Instagram. I had actually posted a picture and a bunch of people were commenting about how they saw it for sale on Facebook and you know, they were sending me the links and all this other stuff. And the truck essentially was listed for a couple weeks and the guy was sitting on it because he doesn't have the hood on, the grill on, some other stuff, but all the parts were sitting in the bed. So he ended up getting a really good deal on this truck. There's no rust on it. If you look at the bed sides, if you look at the fenders, the cab, the truck came from Mississippi and it's got surface rust and stuff, but that's, it's on any truck you're gonna find up north. But like the bed rails, the bed itself, if you look around, like look at these. Super clean, super straight, nothing's bent. Very, very clean for 1993. No rust or no patching, no bondo and crap up under here. Very, very good shape. So what we're gonna try to do today is put the hood on the truck, the door panels in, mirrors on, get the tail lights in. I actually brought a set of those, by the way. Tail lights, and get this thing road ready. some of the most judged videos on YouTube. I mean, people judge you in every area of YouTube, but like when it comes to archery hunting, unless you like get a perfect shot every time, if you like miss a deer by like an inch, people will be like, oh, you should be deer hunting. It's like, dude, the deer duck 
door. If you've ever bow hunted, you realize that that kind of stuff just happens when you're flinging arrows, you know? Anyways, all that being said, uh, if you want to check out that channel, link is always in the description below to go subscribe to that YouTube channel. Otherwise, we are on our way right now to pick up a deer that my dad shot the other night, which I just missed it on camera. Like, I was so close to having it on footage, and I was using my vlogging camera because my other one hasn't come in yet. It doesn't zoom in very far, so I couldn't tell, and I checked, you know, the view, and then I went back, and I didn't realize that I would moved my camera away from where the deer was. Didn't get the shot on that one, so kind of a bummer, but video's still going to go up regardless because it was a lot of fun to film with my dad. We're going to get this deer picked up and drop it off. Have been daily driving the Rosine 24V recently, getting the fluids moving, driving this truck regularly. I love aftermarket wheels and tires. I'm not gonna lie. Don't call me old just because I'm starting to like stock setups just as much, but I do love driving a truck on stock wheels and tires after driving on wide stuff for so long. It is just so fun getting in and being on a cruise 75 down the highway and like not have a loud hum or vibration from <laughs> massive aftermarket wheels and tires. So to haul this deer, we're actually not even gonna take this truck. We're taking the King Ranch. Here's the nasty red. This is what my dad brought the deer over in, but it doesn't have a bed other than the flatbed. So it's kind of messy and it's kind of hard to keep the deer on the thing, honestly, unless you ratchet strap it, which is just too funny when you're going down the road. So we're gonna be taking the King Ranch today. <laughs> the King Ranch heading to the meat shop to get the deer processed. This truck has 106,000 miles on it. And the cool thing is, I remember when this truck was still like the latest and greatest thing from Ford and it had just come out. And I remember being so excited as a kid when I saw this thing show up to the house on a trailer and had like all the plastic crap all over the seats and the interior and everything. And it is cool. It is most definitely exciting. The thing of it is, even if you buy a brand new truck, I've done that before a couple times, they're dated so fast. I mean, they're literally so dated so fast that it almost puts a bitter taste in your mouth to want to buy another new truck, unless you're going to just constantly buy brand new trucks so that you always have a new one. This is a seven year old truck already. Seven years. And what's even more fun is when you drive this truck and then you drive the OBS and then you go from the OBS to driving this truck, very, very different. Both super cool, but in a very different way. Do not forget that tonight, 20X entries are ending towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. So right now, every $1 you spend, instead of getting one entry, you're gonna get 20 entries. And also, so for example, if you buy a t-shirt that's 30 bucks, instead of getting 30 entries, you're gonna get 600 entries right now. So if you wanna do that, enter to win this truck. Link is in the description. Also, I'm pretty sure there's only two weeks left to enter to win anyhow. So you are running out of time on top of time to enter to get 20x entries which ends tonight september 21st at midnight 20x entries are over and for the obs truck that people are asking about the winner for as mentioned before in previous videos over the past several uh months couple years it can take 7 to 14 days to get a winner usually it's closer to 7 but sometimes it can take up to 14 so just so you know we are still waiting for the winner it's taking a little bit longer than normal but i promise you we will have a winner for the truck any day now. And also guys, the lift kit did come in for Rosine, so hopefully we can get that installed on the truck here very soon. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to grab your 20X entry towards winning that truck. Last two weeks are here anyway. Guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.